I felt that my responsibility as a dance critic and a writer was not to give anyone a thumbs up or a thumbs down or to give them any, any number of stars as a rating. I think we live in a society where you go to the grocery store and you have to evaluate um, how someone treated you at the checkout. I don't know, I'm, 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 I have to tell you, I'm, as someone who's been a critic, I'm sick, sick and tired of critiques and reviews. They're all over the place with uh, varying degrees of agendas. <laughs> I felt that the responsibility is to first and foremost respect the artist. That you don't go in there having an ax to grind. That um, if you go in, you know, you, you want to appreciate and love what they do. And I think that's why I so enjoyed when I, whenever I was writing pieces about the process, when I could be in a rehearsal, when I could be among the artists, that I wasn't looking for perfection. I wanted to learn something. What are the ideas coming out? What is the point of view of the choreographer? And what are the dancers bringing to this experience? I don't think they're just vessels for a choreographer's vision. And how are they taking me to a new place? How are they allowing me to see something in a new way or in a different way? I would, I would watch a performance, first of all, as if I were an audience member seeing it for the first time, but I also had to put my critic cap on and say, okay, I, well, I, I do know what's happening here. I understand composition. I understand the process. Okay, uh, how is this speaking to me? How is it not? Why isn't it speaking to me? And I had to be as specific as possible never ever want to attack anybody personally. I didn't want to bring in my own agenda. I just felt that the critic had to be separate, part of the community, part of the artistic process, but not so embedded that that critic is championing a certain, I don't know, group or artist or side. I know that's tough to do because when we look at dance history, especially in New York, that yes, the, the critics were part of all those circles and they, they allowed people like Merce Cunningham and Paul Taylor to get a certain amount of notoriety and they deserved it. It's just, I, I felt, no, I, I've got to have this distance. I don't think I want to know the artist too well personally. So there always had to be this distance. It was professional and, um, and it was never about discovering the next great talent. It was, uh, you know, about storytelling. And I think that um, storytelling affects all of our lives.